What is going on today guys? Welcome to another video in my tutorial series and today we are going to be talking about more arrays. Now the one thing I didn't get to get a chance to talk about in the last tutorial for arrays is iterate, iterating through the arrays. So what do I mean by that? Now when we have an array for instance, I'm going to use the same array from the last tutorial so int grades and I'm going to initialize these with the following values, perhaps 90, 100, 80, 70, 99, all right? I'm going to initialize it with five elements, five values here, okay? And I'm going to have to, I want to iterate through all the elements here and essentially print them out to the screen. So how would I go about doing that? Well, one way is using a for loop. I'm going to use a for loop here. And remember, um, a for loop essentially takes our counter, which I'm going to set to i equals 0, because I want this to start at 0, the 0th index, remember from last tutorial. And in the second one, I'm going to insert the conditional. And I want it as long as i is less than the uh, length of grades, I want this. Oops. I want this loop to keep running. So an i is less than grades dot length. So the length of this grades is going to give me a value of 5. So as long as my i value here is less than the value of 5, keep going through the array. So what what I'm going to do now? Now the first thing I want to do is like I've said, just print it out to the screen. All right, so I am going to do the following. Grades put in the value of i. All right, now this is going to essentially print out the all the values, all the elements in these in the grade variables right here. And I'm going to go ahead and run that. And would you look at that? 90, 180, 70, 99, which is exactly what we have in our array here. All right, so this is how you would go iterate through an array of elements, okay? And using a for loop is one of the easier ways to go about doing that. Now, before I let you guys off, um, I want to go ahead in more detail as to why this works the way it does. So if you already know, go ahead and um, skip this video. But if you don't, stick around. Now, when we have in this for loop, we initialize this to a value i to a value of zero. All right. So when i has the value zero, we're gonna go into this second line right here in the for loop. We're gonna compare is zero less than five. So I'm gonna put a comment here. All right. Um, for our current value of i, so 0. Is 0 less than 5? Well, indeed it is. So let's go ahead and print it out to the screen. And the the second comment line here is going to be whatever we print out to the screen. So print out um, grades index 0. And that's going to give us the very first value, 90, right here. All right, now that we're done, increment it. Increment the i value. So what do we have here? I has now the now holds the value of one. Now let's take a look here. Is one less than five? Yes, it is. Print out the one-th index um, of grades. So that's going to print out one hundred. Let's go back up. Increment it by one. Now it's going to have the value of two. Is two less than five? Indeed, it is. Go down the second the tooth index. Um, I'm not going to say the second index. Well, I guess that's correct. Okay, the second index of the array. So right here, 80. <clears throat> and after we're done with that, we're going to increment the value i. Go back up here, increment it. So now we have the value 3. And it's going to go in here. Is 3 less than 5? Yes, it is. So we're going to print out the third index right here. So 0, 1, 2, 3. So the third index, which is going to hold the value of 70. Almost done here, guys. Um, we're going to go, now that, we're, now that we've finished printing this, we're going to go here, um, our incrementer here, increment the value of i by 1, 4. Now we have the value 4. Now is 4 less than 
5? Yes, it is. Go ahead and print the fourth index. So remember, it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The fourth index <coughs> in our array here. It's going to hold the value of 99. And increment this. So now we are going to have the value 5 for i. Now, is 5 less than 5? No, it is not. 5 is five might be less than or equals to five, but it's definitely not less than five. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, we have the output we have. Now, I hope this has helped you understand um, iteration through an array better. I know, like, like I've mentioned in the previous videos, um, zero indexing might be a little confusing to some, but trust me, it's not that bad all right um i'm gonna go ahead and end this video now if you guys like this video please um, hit the like button comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial bye bye